Separately collected food waste from the curbside is brought to an anaerobic digestion facility for recycling. The first stop is the weigh bridge, where the vehicle full of food waste is weighed, so we know how much food is being recycled. The vehicle then drives to an enclosed reception building where it tips the food into a large bunker. Business waste from supermarkets, restaurants and even liquid food waste from factories, breweries and dairies is mixed with household food waste. It is passed through the mouth of the plant where it is chewed and any contamination is removed and the food waste soup is created, ready for digestion. Before digestion, this needs to be pasteurised to kill off any bad bacteria. This is like cooking the soup. It is held in giant vats where it is heated to 70 degrees centigrade for one hour. They are heated by using recycled heat from the gas engines. The pasteurised soup is then fed into one of the digestion tanks. There are five tanks on site. Each one is like a giant stomach where good bacteria eat the food converting into biogas or methane and a fertiliser called digestate. The food waste is pumped through the five tanks and this takes around 100 days. Like the bacteria in our stomachs, the good bacteria break down the food waste to extract as much energy as possible. Once all the biogas has been extracted, we are left with a nutritious organic fertiliser. Because the digesters are like giant stomachs, they have to be tested every day in our laboratory to keep them healthy. The digesters have to be kept at body temperature and are heated by using recycled heat from the gas engines. The biogas is stored in the roofs of the tanks. It is then fed into two large engines which, just like a car converting fuel into energy, convert the biogas into electricity. This is fed into the national grid through transformers on site. The engines produce enough energy to power 4,200 homes. The nutritious organic fertiliser is a black liquid which is taken from the plant and spread as a valuable fertiliser on local farmland. This helps improve crop yield and replace artificial fertilisers. Vehicles bring in approximately 120 tonnes of food waste every day. This means in addition to powering our homes and helping to grow crops, over 40,000 tonnes of food waste is kept out of landfill.